In the year 2525, if man is still alive, This uh, next Saturday, they're going to be at Tyra Lee, rocking and running. It's going to be awesome. Go show your support. So, next on Dragon Breath, we have something new coming at you. It's called Highlight of the Week. It's where we find a simple pleasure in life, and we give it a spotlight. So, here's this week's. The Dragon Breath Highlight of the Week is cereal. The beauty of cereal is there's so much variety. You can always have what you want when it comes to cereal. There are many myths about cereal, though. Number one, cereal has to be eaten for breakfast. Wrong, you can eat it any time of the day. Number two, cereal has to be eaten with milk. Wrong again, you don't have to have milk, you can just snack away. Favorite cereals of some Redwater Dragon varsity football players are Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Fruity Pebbles, Cocoa Pebbles, Lucky Charms, Corn Flakes, Loth, and Cinnamon Loth. So as you sit around the house this weekend thinking about how hungry you are, bust out the cereal and have a party. And now we have a, a special field report from our uh, field reporter, Bradley Adams, about this upcoming weekend's volleyball tournament. Bradley? Thanks, Kristen. There is a volleyball tournament in LE on Friday and Saturday. Be there. This week, as you may know, some vandalism was done to Redwater High School. Students and authorities want to know who was behind an act of vandalism motivated by racism at an East Texas school. All that can be seen now are the black smudges left behind on Redwater ISD's cafetorium. School officials say racial slurs painted outside the building were discovered yesterday morning before school. They say the incident has brought students together. I found that as I visited with students yesterday, uh, they were very upset and they want to get to the bottom of it. And they're embarrassed that this may paint a picture on them. And I want to say this is not indicative of Redwater ISD. But in spite of that, we all got together and we united in front of the school. Here's some footage from that. But you know, it doesn't matter what, we're going to be unified and that, that's not going to change anything. So right now, I'm just going to pray that <laughs> and, and you know if you feel like you want to pray after I pray just jump right in it's whatever we're just going to pray until the bell rings so there we go Lord Jesus thank you for everybody out here and I thank you that here at Redwater we have unity and that nothing's going to hold us back uh, Monday, September 25th at 6 p.m. the festivities for this year's homecoming prayer will start in the student parking lot so be there a new club is forming. Thank you. 
A new club is forming this year. It's called the FSA, the Film Study Association, where we're going to study film and movies and stuff. If you seem interested, if you like movies, you like film, see Miss Pappas or see The Office for a sign-up form. It's going to be awesome.